Hello Collective, this is Renee and welcome back. As I was shuffling these cards, the Nine of Cups kept coming out when I was shuffling. Let's see if it comes back. Let's see what's going on with my Collective in Love. Let's see what's going on. What can you expect? And I feel like all of the powerful energy in this month has really been so profound and I think it's causing so many shifts see we have the ten of swords are you ending something collective there's something that's ending there's something that may be over with Let's see the four pinnacles you're taking rest time Page of Swords. Yeah. I'm, I feel like, Collective, you've had an ending or something, something that you had your focus on has ended. And you're turning your attention elsewhere. You're refocusing your attention. You may be refocusing your love. You know, if something has ended, you know, with an ending, there's a new beginning. And I feel like you're taking time out for yourself. You're taking time out to focus on you. What did I say? The hermit. You're taking time out to focus on you. And the Three of Cups. Okay, I think that you're surrounding yourself by your loved ones. You're surrounding yourself by friends. And people that you know that you can trust. We've got the Toxic Witches here. So I feel like in the past there was someone who you couldn't trust. Um, maybe a friend group that you had to leave behind. Or maybe someone that you ended things with that you left behind that you had lost your trust for someone was toxic someone didn't have the best intentions but I feel like you had a lot of love for this person I'm going to go ahead and move these down a bit because I want to clarify okay we'll go ahead and clarify with this deck tell me about the ten of swords spirit give me a message why is the ten of swords here what is this ending? What is this ending? We got the Four of Cups again. So you're definitely focusing on yourself. Or you ended something because it was a missed opportunity. You ended something that was a false start. It wasn't leading to anything. And I feel like you spoke your truth to this person. <laughs> you really let him have it. You you spoke your truth to this person because you seen that they weren't given what you needed to this situation. So you went ahead and ended it. Tell me about this page of swords. Tell me about this page of swords. The three of wands. Okay, you were waiting for some kind of communication from this person. And I feel like you were waiting for a while because we have the four of cups, well, the four of pentacles here in the middle. So someone was actually holding on to information that you needed in order to figure out the situation. So we have the three of wands and we have the three of swords. Three, three. Okay, and so this, all this waiting that you did led to a lot of disappointment and a lot of heartbreak. And that's the truth that you needed to reveal. I feel like you gave this person the what for. You gave this person the what for on understanding that they missed an opportunity. I feel like they missed an opportunity with you. Why is the hermit here? Tell me, why is the hermit here? 
the King of Pentacles. And the sun. You're trying. You went ahead and put time in for yourself. You spent time by yourself to bring back your stability. To bring back your security. And find your happiness. But I feel like you're very content at the moment. I feel like letting this, whatever this was, go has taken away a lot of toxicity in, in your life. So you're feeling like you're feeling a lot more happy and a lot more social. Maybe that's why you're surrounding yourself by friends and family. Yeah, look at this. Three of cups, three of cups. Definitely. I love that. And the high priestess. So yeah, you're learning how to use your intuition more. You're learning how to sense things when it comes to love situations. Because you don't want to fall back into the, the past patterns. The ace of cups. Okay, and the chariot. You have new love coming in. You have new love coming in. The Knight of Cups. Someone's going to bring you an offer. Wheel of Fortune. And Two of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward. You're moving forward away from heartbreak. And you're moving forward into your happiness. <laughs> definitely. So this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Give me um, advice. Give me advice for the collective. Okay, we've got three cards. Okay, we've got the, the lover's card. We've got the ten of pentacles. And we've got the king of wands in reverse. Wow. We also have the Seven of Cups. Okay, Collective. So this is this is the T on your person. The person that's coming in is actually going to bring a lot of love. They're going to overflow you with emotions. But this person at first is not going to seem very stable. and But they're not going to be in a player energy. I feel like this person may come to you with a little bit of love. This person may come in with a little bit of lack, you know. Um, so they may not have their life or their finances exactly the way they want them. But I feel like this is not a player energy. This is not someone who's looking for excitement. Um, looking for validation from other people. This is someone who's coming in more stable. Someone who's coming in more grounded. The Six of Wands, okay. And the Fool, definitely. So this is someone to come in who's going to recognize you for exactly what you are. And that's the beautiful collective. This person is going to bring in... A lot of love and admiration for you if you notice the cup is overflowing you know and the flowers are blooming from the cup so it's gonna be you know new growth a, a feeling of a feeling of being filled right that's what I'm getting a feeling of being filled and it's going to be a new journey. We have the, the Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands. The Queen of Swords is in the reverse. So this is definitely someone coming in wearing their emotions on their sleeve. You know, I feel like this person is going to be transparent. There's not going to be any bitterness. When you come across this person, I feel like you have taken enough time out for yourself to where whatever past heartbreak that you've had is no longer lingering. 
in your mind. And I feel like this person is bringing a new excitement or a feeling that you have a renewed faith and love, which is kind of nice. Yeah, we have the chariot again. So you're definitely moving on. You're definitely moving on into bigger and better things. <laughs> Look at the emperor. This person is coming with emperor energy. So they know exactly what they want. They know exactly what they want. This person may not be fully healed from a prior situation. But I feel like... They don't they don't carry any bitterness with them. I mean, they they don't show any bitterness from any past relationships. Although the although they're not fully healed. And I think that maybe that's the reason why the three of swords came out here. Because I feel like you and this person are exactly what each other needs at the moment. And I feel like you and this person will be going through your healing together. You'll be going through your transformations together with this death card. Wow. And we have the tower in reverse. And the fool again. So definitely, definitely a new journey. And I feel like it's going to be a lot less drama than you're used to. Matter of fact, this person may come across to you as kind of boring. Not as exciting as the last person, but also bringing a lot of love. I feel like there's going to be a lot of days when you are just cuddled up watching a movie. That's the picture that I'm getting. Yeah, King of Cups. But I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of joy. This person, this person has the potential to bring a lot of love into your life. And I feel like this is a very stable kind of love. Yeah, we have temperance. What did I say? A very stable kind of love. And I feel like this person has a lot of patience. They have the ability to make things right. So I feel like it's also going to be healing from any past heartbreak. This person is going to come in and, I mean, heal your heart. Their finances might not be exactly the way they want them right now, but it doesn't mean they don't have the money to take care of you. It just means that they're not where they want to be. Two of Cups. See, what did I say? A lot of love. This person has a lot of love for you. This could be a pot potential soulmate. Um, that has a lot of potential here. Hmm. Let's get a message from the analogy. Any more messages? For my collective... What do you need to release? I, I feel like this person is going to show you to release the past and move on. Look at this. A new start is coming. Exactly. They're going to help you release the past so that you can start again, so that you can start new. This is beautiful energy, collective. So I'm very happy. And I think it has the potential to be something really great because there's a lot of love here okay that's what i have for you so if you resonate with this reading please like and subscribe and many blessings to you until next time love and light